Reading articles on the Aniston Star Online, you may have noticed the icons for comments and recommendations at the top of each story. In this tutorial, we're going to explain the comments feature, and then in the second one, we'll tell you about these recommendations and how that affects the stories and the play it gets on the website. All right, so we're talking about the comments, and we can see here that there are two, but we have to scroll down to the bottom of the story to see where they are. So here you can read the comments, and you can click here to make your own comment on the story. Now the first thing it's going to do is ask you to sign in. In a separate tutorial, we gave you instructions on how to set that up. So if you want, you can refer back to that. So our sign-in was successful, and here we can write our comment. Um, so why don't we go ahead and say, great job. If you want to read this story, it's about a, um, an Aniston star, uh, an Aniston High School student who has graduated after several years of, of waiting to, to go back and finish his degree. So we come here and we take the human test. You'll remember that from the instructions on how to sign up for an online account. And now that we've copied down those words, we hit post comment. So there we go. Now we can read, great job, Mario. That's the comment we made. Now, what that will do also for the story, in, in addition to seeing up here at the top that you know this will soon change to three comments, it'll also come over here to these, uh, these two lists that will tell you the most commented and the most recommended stories. So um, let's see if we click on this, if it'll refresh a little bit. It doesn't look like our story has climbed to the top on most commented yet but it's still early in the day and maybe we'll get to that eventually. And now we're going to move on and tell you about this list, the most recommended. So if you click over to the next tutorial, you'll get to hear all about that.